This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. She's piling lies on top of lies, not realizing that it only tightens the noose around her neck. You speak with the new prisoners, you say? That's right. I'm glad you understand. Your testimony is not solid evidence. It requires more than just understanding. Well then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, you may begin your cross-examination. Did she just smack my head with her mouth? Yeah, <laughs> she definitely did. It's bad enough when I Francisco... I so far. <laughs> with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're certain you interrogated him the day before the show? Yes, around 3 a.m. on the 27th. Three at night. That matches the time of death on Nightly's autopsy report. You summoned him that late at night and he wasn't asleep? Well, the guard was attacked in Nightly's cell, remember? After that incident, we checked his cell and inquired about the circumstances. I'm sure all that excitement made it hard to sleep. Nightly was wide awake, you know. So, even though it was highly irregular, you still carried out this late-night interrogation. Edgeworth, dear, you're so mean. No! It may have been an irregular, but the truth is I had him moved. You can call it what you like, it still doesn't change the facts. <laughs> Please excuse him. I'll give my incompetent apprentice a good scolding later. But for now, mademoiselle, what did you mean when you said you had him moved? I thought it was obvious, Monsieur. I spoke to him in my office. Her office? The route she used to move Knightley's body? Please add that statement to your testimony. <laughs> of course. Around 3 a.m. the day before the show, the victim was brought into my office. And where is your office located exactly? You know that sign in the detention center hallway? You mean the one that says no entry? You mean the one that says we eat or whatever? Eat, eat free, sleep eat free, free, sleep in, free prison. in prison. <laughs> yes, it's just a short walk up that aisle, about five minutes from the cell block. I've heard that room exits into the courtyard. Of course. That side of the courtyard is my private garden. Oh, I get it. You're going to say I use that route to move the body. Indeed, you must have been able to use it. If you use that route... <gasps> For now, that, that is merely a possibility. There is no decisive evidence to support it. But there is no other way the body could have been moved. Surely you haven't forgotten my theory that Simon Keyes dropped the body in the well. That's right! That's right! What she said! Ugh. Pursuing this point further would be hazardous. I always make sure to talk to all the new arrivals. What did you talk about? What indeed? It was just such trifling conversation. What kind of animals he liked, what his hobbies were, that sort of thing. Really? <laughs> hobbies? I assume he mentioned chess. Oh yes, that's all Knightley would ever talk about. Now that I think about it, the note he had, had in his room. Probably had something to do with chess, too. So Warden Roland saw Knightley's note. But didn't deliver it to Dogen. No. And what was Knightley like during the interrogation? He was very honest. M Mr. Knightley was... <laughs> honest, pal! He also talked about a croissant in some kind of promo. And passant and chess piece promotions, I presume. Looks like he was his usual chess-loving self. After our talk, he went right back to his cell, I assure you. If he really returned to his cell, there is no way he would be a corpse now. I know you're suggesting that I killed him during the interrogation, but... I couldn't possibly have had a motive to kill Knightley, could I? Dogen was the only one I hated! He had no connection with the victim! She only hated Dogen. Please add that statement to your testimony. Dogen was the one I hated and had no connection with the victim. The only one you hated was Dogen, am I correct? Yes. Threatening me. 
and doing whatever he wants in this prison. That man! I will never forgive him! I'll do whatever it takes to corner him! And his black dog, too! They aren't fit to live in my home! Whoa! <laughs> Run laps, little doggy! Holy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> ah! She does look like uh, Von Karma there. <laughs> She's brimming with hostility, even towards Dogen's dog. At first glance, it would seem she has no motive for killing Knightley. However, her hostility extends to anyone connected to Dogen. If I consider that, the is answer this, will naturally follow. Is this literally going to turn into, he plays chess with him? I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> she chats with the criminals? The warden sure is easy going, sir. Easy going? She killed one of the criminals, you know. Since the guy was handcuffed, it would have been a pretty one-sided affair. Warden Roland has to be the killer. I have faith in my reasoning so far. <laughs> he played a uh, oh, wait, it was that memo. That was Nightly's memo. Oh, that's the floor plans. Okay. <laughs> Judge Courtney, I'd like you to have a look at this. It looks like a record of a chess game. Is there something wrong with it? This was discovered in the victim's cell. It was Nightly's memo. Warden Roland, you also discovered this note in the very same place. And not just in Knightley Cell, but in Dogen's too, correct? What are you- Don't say that you don't know about the chessboard in the special cell. I- I realize whenever I make her- whenever she makes that face, I make her sound like the, um... <laughs> the, the witch of the wet- the waist. waste. Oh, <laughs> notice- how does she have so much energy? <laughs> you horrible old hag! <laughs> Literally. I thought you were going to say the uh, housekeeper from Arietti. I'm not losing my, my mind. mind. There's little people in there. Hama. Hama. That's that's Carol Burnett. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. After all, you would have kept an eye on Dogen's actions down to the smallest details. No. To be more precise, it wasn't Dogen that you needed to keep an eye on. The warden was searching for Mr. Dogen's henchmen. From the start, I found it yes. strange that the warden interrogated the prisoners personally. Yep, that makes sense. Since he used his henchmen to threaten harm to her family, Warden Roland interrogated Dogen to expose them. So, what are you saying? As you inspected Dogen's mail, you must have known that he played correspondence chess. And then Knightley appeared, with a chess memo in hand. We deduced that he and Dogen were connected. You must have arrived at the same conclusion as well. However, you went one step too far in your reasoning. You thought Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen, who had come to kill you. So, that's why you interrogated Knightley, boy. If the boss won't crack, go after his henchmen. In addition, you discovered something when you were interrogating him. Inside his chessboard, you, you found, found a, a portable, portable chisel. chisel. It's all coming together. Yep, the murder weapon. To Warden Roland, the chisel was a symbol of Dogen, and that was the final straw. That you makes so much sense. You now. believe Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen, and you killed him. This is a great case. This is such a good case. It only, yeah, it, it strings along so long, but this makes way more sense. Mm -hmm. It seems there will be no rebuttal, Judge Courtney. Your verdict. Though it is incredibly unfortunate, there seems to be no room for doubt. I shall now announce my verdict for the murder of Horace Knightley. It's probably the warden. Twice my sacred verdict has been interrupted. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how strange. You guys really don't understand anything. It would seem the one who doesn't understand is you. Me? Oh, I understand one thing very well. There's a huge contradiction in your logic, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Once she's cornered, she starts spouting nonsense. Pay it no heed. Judge Courtney, your verdict. I'm interested in hearing what the warden has to say. What? 
I thought so. I just have one thing I want to say. But one. We had Tabestus here. Please. <laughs> he's, he's completely not important. He's just standing there like. <laughs> I'm doing this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Please take a good look at that autopsy report. The autopsy report. The one I brought with me. I updated it. <laughs> I heard exactly what you said earlier, Justine, darling. You said the wound was four inches deep. Four inches. N no way. Could that tiny chisel really have made a wound four inches deep? I mean, if you really just like stab impossible. Stab and stab and stab. You get that. You get That's that. That's like a four-inch chisel. You'd have to stick the whole thing. In. How do you can't pull it out? It's like when you get those. Gauges or whatever in your ears. It's like the whole thing has to go yeah. in. I don't know. It's possible. How could I have made such an error? Oh, forgive me, goddess of law. Well, I believe that overturns your hypothesis. What will you do now, Mr. Edgeworth? W what'll he do? It it'll be all right, pal. Mr. Edgeworth always. Whoa. Hey, now. He's gone all white. Hey, you're a defense attorney, aren't you? Isn't there something you can do, pal? Do that turnabout fiend! Make some earth-shattering objection! Turnabout <laughs> they, objection! They, they kind of lean on the fourth wall in this game. <laughs> Uncle Ray's a hard worker, but uh, <laughs> w without decisive evidence, we're just whipping a dead horse here. Does that mean it's hopeless? No. Nothing's impossible for Edgeworth! The true killer is Warden Roland. If it's not her, then nothing that's happened fits. But the chisel isn't the murder weapon. Are there any other sharp objects here? Uh, she's got keys. Did you make a- You have a four-inch key? <laughs> that's like a keyblade. <laughs> that's the power of the keyblade. Well, I don't know. What else is there? What's in a prison? Keys. She said she had, um... Yuri gave her her knife. <laughs> If, oh my gosh, that would be funny. Uh, she might have like a nail file. Oh, oh <laughs> four inch nail. <laughs> no. Ew. Um, it could be that uh, the forensics team just sucks. Didn't get the correct death, and when she threw him into the well, that's when he died. Toenail clippers. The airport security. I told you they were dangerous. Oh my goodness. There are still many mysteries remaining in this case. However, we do not have the evidence to solve them at the present time. We have no choice but to continue this battle in the courtroom. Objection. That would just give the killer a chance to destroy evidence. Are you mocking the court? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I didn't mean anything like that. Y you look perplexed, Miles. Thought of anything yet? The chisel is not the murder weapon. In that case, what is? It's no use! We're back where we started! Um... I'm trying to think of stuff that could actually leave a wound very deep. Mm -hmm. Any... Any one of the animals, if they have nails, could potentially make, like, a very deep wound in the neck. Hmm. So, Polar Bear was there. We know that, right? Polar Bear? Yeah. Polar uh, Bear is in Jay Elbert's cell. Yeah, but the Jay Elbert was in there, remember? Right? Unless if that's completely disproven now. We're talking about what the warden used to... Right. Um, the warden's just like, I need to borrow the Polar but Bear. What I'm, <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, there was a struggle before... Remember, there was the struggle yeah. with the guard who was not the guard who was Elbert. That happened during the animal show. Did that happen during the animal show? So he was alive for that? Yeah. Er, Elber, so, Elbert went to Knightley's cell before the murder. It beat Knightley up, took the yes, key. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. Beat him up. So, I'm wondering, maybe he left something there that the uh, warden could have used. Oh, that's what you're thinking. And that's okay. what I'm trying I to do. I thought you were out. talking about Rocky, like, being like, Oh, hey! And then he's like, oh, like the video. No, thing, like, no, 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 no. No objections, Prosecutor Edgeworth. By the way, any baseless statements will be punished accordingly. Man, that's a lot of dots. It's no good! I can't think of anything! I need more time. 
I regret to say, I have no... No! Mr. Edgeworth, remember what Mr. Shields said! If we give up, Simon will... Have you forgotten that sad look on his face? He was the one who suffered most from Knightley's death. If we can't save him, who will? Besides, Simon believes in us! So we can't give up! It's the anime, Kay. it's the anime build-up. Yeah, Miles, looks like you found a good partner. It's She's so terrible, real. but she has it's a cool gadget. It's the real superpower of teamwork! It's like little Kay says. Whenever you're backed into a corner, think of your client. Keep fighting until the very end. Isn't that the feeling you're getting? Gregory, your old man. No matter what trouble he faced, he would always turn things around and save his client. You've got his blood in you, right? Th that's not how th that works. In that case, you're the only one that can turn this around. Judge Courtney? The look in your eyes has suddenly changed. If you do intend to speak, you'd better be prepared to face the consequences. Your logic thus far has been misplaced numerous times. If this were to happen again, I will consider you unfit to call yourself as a prosecutor. And you will hand over your badge. That's right. My reasoning about this case has indeed been misplaced numerous times. Have I made a grave miscalculation? Wait. My logic is... misplaced. Still silent, I cannot condone this waste of time. Well, maybe it's something that the warden misplaced. Well then! Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Edgeworth! I will announce my verdict! That's it! I have to turn my logic around! Like Phoenix Wright. My Lock logic isn't through. misplaced, it's been misled. This court finds the defendant, Simon Keith. Isn't it a little early to hand down a verdict? I actually think it's rather late, don't you agree, Justine, darling? Enlighten us. What? Try to remember. The eyewitness account about his dog and his absence from the animal show. When I first heard that information, my suspicion immediately fell on Dogen. I'm amazed you take such pride in retelling your previous failings. But... Was that not the killer's aim? What if we assumed that was their intention from the start? Of course, the chisel served the same purpose. Knightley's body was stabbed in the same spot with multiple sharp objects. This shows that he was stabbed with the chisel after the real murder weapon was removed. By soaking the chisel in Knightley's blood, the killer wanted to mislead us into thinking the chisel was the murder weapon. Why? That's because... Why did the killer want us to think the chisel was the murder weapon? To get Dogen expelled. That's pretty obvious. Warden Roland, you made use of this chisel's image. Chisel's image? What are you trying to say? Mr. DeBest, when you see this chisel, what does it suggest to you? Eh? It's uh, something like, uh, Dogen is the killer, right? Now do you understand? That was the warden's aim. Ah! She wanted us to suspect the person with the chisels! Indeed, that was her plan from the very beginning. To make Serhan Dogen out to be the killer. I understand your logic. It is true that the warden did not think kindly of Dogen. But you understand, don't you? This alone does not prove she is the killer. As I thought. It's not enough. The remaining chance is for me to find the real murder weapon. If you have no more evidence, I believe this conversation is over. I could prove it if I found the real murder weapon. It doesn't matter what you say. We did a clean sweep of this place. Look at the birds up above the... the oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? 
Those it's are nice. acros. <laughs> I oh my gosh, I hate acro. <laughs> wow, tell us how you really feel. I mean, in that case, I was like, this is cool, and then it's like, hello, I'm, I'm the, acro. I I'm killed the, the I'm person. The mild, I'm the mild mannered man with birds who in a wheelchair. I'm like, it's him. Could be. Yeah. Like I'm like, there's no other person it would be. <laughs> it's as Sebastian said. In the end, we could not find any weapons. In other words, since proof is impossible. No. The murder weapon must still be somewhere in the prison. Alligator as... ate it! You think Alligator ate it? Yeah, because she fed him, remember? Oh. As long as this exists. The security gate! Hm. You remember its name after all. Are you mocking me? It's because of those fiends that you can't take metal objects in or out of this place. No! Oh. Right. As long as those security gates exist, the murder weapon should still be here. That also means no weapon could have been brought into the prison. In the end, we're back to the same mystery after all. Judge Courtney. Prosecutor Edgeworth, surely you've realized. If the real murder weapon is still in the prison, one must also consider how it got there in the first place. The chisel was concealed within the chessboard. But the chisel is not the real murder weapon. Which means the real murder weapon must have been smuggled in somehow. Yeah, I know how it was smuggled in. How? Mr. Alligator, if you feed him a weapon... But how, how did the weapon get there in the first place? It's for the Very Big Circus. The Very Big Circus has, like, a murder weapon? Uh, it's a show. You could totally have stage weapons, which can be used as murder weapons. Can confirm. Hmm. Um, I don't think they would have, be able to allow to put that in the prison, though. They may not be able to. I don't know. The way it was smuggled in, can you prove that? <sighs> How Warden Roland brought the weapon into the prison. Supplier. You had evidence transferred from the precinct. Yes, we borrowed all of the evidence concerning Dogen. I've been interrogating him personally in my office, but... Th that's it! She could have used that! This shows another way a weapon could have been brought into the prison. How do we show that the precinct... Yesterday, Dogen said this. Yes, my bells. There are only two in this world. Only two? They're custom made, attached to my knife and Anubis's collar. Even though I can only rely on my ears, <laughs> I can easily identify them. Alas, one has been confiscated and oh, is I not in my possession. Oh, I forgot about that! I forgot about that. Yeah. Completely. It's possible the murder weapon was brought in as confiscated evidence. What? 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 Dogen's knife was confiscated and stored on the premises. Furthermore, a bell was attached to the knife. This is the longest second case, by the way. Yeah, it is. It can't be! The bell on that chisel! Exactly. The killer took it from the knife and reattached it to the chisel. Is the alligator gonna ring? <laughs> he moves around like- No, we have both knives. Because one is oh. attached to the chisel and the other is just- in our inventory, oh. I think. B but the only and the other's on Anubis. The other only yeah, because Anubis are... has one bell, and then the Anubis other's on the chisel. Anubis has a knife? No, Anubis has the bell. Yeah, we're trying to figure out the knife. He said one knife was confiscated. Right, and somehow the knife's bell got onto the chisel. But the only fingerprints on this chisel are Knightley's. The killer probably wore gloves when they made the switch. She made the chisel out to be the murder weapon by attaching Dogen's bell. And in doing so, made Dogen appear to be the culprit. Furthermore, the handling of the set of evidence that this bell originally belonged to was only possible for someone with the proper authority. Who, sir? Who had that authority? Why don't we ask the warden what she thinks? You can find bells anywhere. Anyone could have attached it, right? Hmph. <laughs> I see. So you don't know. These bells are Dogen's trademark. There are only two in the world. What? What? And so, attaching the bell would naturally make you the killer. Um, do you have any evidence that I have the knife? You don't, do you? 
hearts in that big old Of poker. course, I understand. In that case, Mr. DeBest, I'd like to request an investigation immediately. Yeah, uh, but, but if you find it, it'd be problematic for me. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter now. It is necessary that we reveal the truth. You are a prosecutor, are you not? Well, even if you say that, curse this useless prosecutor. <laughs> if only I still had investigative rights. That's the best line I've heard. But besides, we can't investigate without the warden's permission, right? Oh my gosh, you stupid idiot. There's no way she would approve. We have no choice but to investigate ourselves. If you don't have evidence, then there's no use in continuing this conversation. The goddess of law does not smile upon those with no evidence. This will have to be continued in the courtroom. No, I hate, I'm in I hate him. No good. If we give the warden more well, time I, here, I can just do blah 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 blah. She'll blah. definitely destroy the evidence. It seems like I have no choice but to raise an objection and stall for time. But, but I don't have anything definite. Is that really acceptable? Is it really like me to do something this reckless? N no, not good. Now is not the time for hesitation. Right now, I'm not a prosecutor, but an attorney's assistant. I need to protect my client. I'm the only one who can save him now. Simon In that case, the crab. <laughs> His hair looks like crabs. He does. Even if it's a one in a million chance, I have to take it. It's sink or swim. Should I raise an objection? Yes! Why would, we, why would we not? Don't raise an objection. It almost feels like I've turned into a certain bluffing defense attorney. But right now, I can't come to a standstill here. For the fourth time. Hold it! Prosecutor Edgeworth, what now? I just realized something. What would that be? Pray tell. Naturally, the whereabouts of the real murder weapon. Dogen's knife. But Mr. Edgeworth, is that really true? Yes, though it is a lie. I find that hard to believe. This isn't a bluff, is it? Hmph, <laughs> you underestimate me. The word bluff does not exist in my dictionary. This is bad for my heart. There's no way you could know. Because such a thing doesn't even exist. Answer does not exist. <laughs> well then, could you enlighten us? Where is the real murder weapon? Think. Think. It's in the elevator. Somewhere the police didn't look. A blind spot in this animal-filled prison. The guy, I figured this out A hiding out for place the warden would have complete confidence in. Hmm? Hiding place? Come to think of it. It was inevitable. Anubis, show them your mouth. <gasps> the same method. No, it couldn't be, could it? But there aren't that many ways to hide things from an investigator's eyes. Prosecutor Edgeworth, how long do you intend to keep us waiting? It's possible, B but I'm taking a big gamble here. The place where the real murder weapon is hidden is here. It's in the courtyard. Here, in the courtyard. Indeed. That's not enough information. Please show us in more detail. Where is the real murder weapon hidden? Did I figure it out? Please tell me I did. You figured it out. Good, good, good. That's it. Back then. Huh? What's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? Of course. That's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel. Uh, wasn't that just a fake murder weapon? Dogen hid this chisel inside his dog's mouth. And the real murder weapon was hidden in very much the same way. The real murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. What? What? <laughs> we can confirm that the metal detector reacted to the alligator. Judge Courtney, please have the insides of the alligator examined. There's a sentence I never thought I'd hear today. <laughs> I give my consent. We'll have to call a veterinary. I can
can make that little girl open her mouth. Can I help? Yes, go ahead. How did you do that? Warden Roland, discovering the real murder weapon will settle this matter once and for all. Why don't you do the honorable thing and confess now? <laughs> what, what would I have to confess? In that case, you can just wait for your fate to be sealed. <laughs> ah, we found it, sir! Just where you said it would be! It's over. Patricia Roland, the real murder weapon is none other than Dogen's knife. And the one who murdered Horace Knightley can only be you. Dogen was the evil one. I didn't do anything wrong! It was completely reasonable. That guy was one of Dogen's henchmen. Him. If only he had never come to my home. I... I could have at least be, still be happy. My special paradise. He ruined it! All of it! Him! That no-good assassin! Him! 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 <laughs> well, I called it. <laughs> she wasn't buff under that, really. No, but I was like, oh, I bet she's wearing, I bet she's skinny under her coat. <laughs> no, you said she was ripped under that. <laughs> okay. I meant as skinny as a prison guard. Oh, there's a guard! Maybe we'll get to voice him. March 28th, 11, 11, 1234 p.m. Detention Center Hallway. I think that's a forensics guy, actually. Yep. Oh, Mr. The Best of the Best. Oh, we have the results. The best of the best. Looks like even the forensic officers have it tough. Oh, we found traces of Knightley's blood on Dogen's knife. It was just like you said. You're the best, Mr. DeBest. <laughs> All right, good job. But don't stop there. Keep the praise coming. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. You're so incredible. It brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> From sorrow. <laughs> well done, Sebastian. Next comes the follow-up investigation. Huh? Uh, what are you talking about, Justine? Hasn't the case been solved already? We have not yet confirmed if Knightley truly was one of Dogen's henchmen. There's also a chance that Warden Roland jumped to conclusions. Uh, oh, uh, oh! That is the remaining uncertainty in this case. Ah, uh, um, uh, uh, anyways, let's keep investigating. Hey, you there, come with me. Since I'm the best, the truth will appear before me first. When that moment arrives, make sure you don't miss it. Oh, uh, yes, sir, I'm looking forward to witnessing your first great ability. Let's go! <laughs> that <laughs> run! <laughs> that run was... That's like a Fire Emblem run. <laughs> kind of. We live in troubling times, wouldn't you agree? The would-be assassin of the president was found murdered in the prison. Knightley had not planned to assassinate the president. The truth is not as vital as you seem to believe it to be. Not to the world. And not to the law. That can't be right! Believe what you will, however. As long as Prosecutor Edgeworth remains a prosecutor, it is an inescapable reality. A prosecutor is not someone who demands a guilty verdict. That is what I believe. Those are merely your values. The law is not a plaything of any one person. If you will not submit to that, you will do well to prepare for the consequences. What's that supposed to mean, pal? Don't tell me you're gonna... Now then, this is where I must take my leave, Prosecutor Edgeworth. May we meet again, Zelda. <laughs> Judge Courtney is right. Look at Edgeworth! Uh, no, gumshoe. Look at gumshoe, like, <laughs> I'm so <up>. mad! <laughs> the law should not serve any one person's desires. However... If the truth is bent as a result of that, can that really be called justice? Ah, oh, Simon! And money, the monkey. B boss. What happened? They said you could come out already. B well, uh, honestly, I don't know for sure. Uh, all of a sudden, they were like, "Oh, you're free to go, and uh, you should thank Mr. Edgeworth." <laughs> 
Well, that's because he found out who the real murderer was. R really He did? Mr. Edgeworth. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait. Even if you clear at me like that, it's useless. I'm innocent after all. You can't make me guilty. Simon, Simon. You should thank him, you know. You're, you're, you're right. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, too. Good grief. Uh, um, Mr. Defense Attorney, uh, can I ask you just one more question? Yes, you may, but I'm not a defense attorney. Uh, I thought that Knightley and I were friends. No, I mean best friends. I always thought we were... Tight. You don't think so anymore? Well, I'm just wondering. There were some things I had no idea about. Like how he could hate someone enough to kill them. That's why but maybe he, he never trusted me either. Simon, that's not true. You're lying! Because if I had known, I could have stopped him! I could have- I would have told him that there's no need to be angry with anyone. Mr. Keyes, I don't think he disliked you either. Let's show him proof that Knightley trusted him. He trusted him to bring that chessboard! That's what I gave to- Knightley hid a chisel inside it. Most likely to aid in his escape. <laughs> escape?! He used me?! He trusted in you. He knew you'd bring it to him without looking into it and without question. And in doing just that, you were caught up in everything. <laughs> Nightly, you idiot! Looks like he gets it. Simon isn't as dumb as he looks, after all. The, the guy's right here! <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back to normal by tomorrow. Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> I'll be strong. I'll become a splendid wild animal tamer. For Nightly's sake. Excellent. That's the spirit. <laughs> Ratatouille, the sequel. I would watch that. I, I don't, don't want, want I don't want it. I, want I do it, not want it. Uh, I almost forgot. Um, if you'd like, please come to our next show. Well, next, the next case. The very big circus is coming to those, Max. <laughs> the next case is at the circus again. <laughs> it's just like, it's literally all the exact same suspects. <laughs> and, and then a lot of hearts thrown in there just to be confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll also be performing in it. The very big circus is always fabulous and fun for all ages. Wow, that sounds like fun. Let's go, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. Well, we need to get back to practicing right away. You'll be with Regent today. What? The, the tiger? No way, no way, no way. It'll be fine. He's a good boy. No, no way. There's no way it will be fine. I love how that girl... Please cut me a break, Bye. And there they go. But man, bravo, bravo. You really put on a good show today, Miles. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Shields. Without your help, she might have gotten away. Not to mention allowing us to continue the investigation. Oh man, cut it out already. <laughs> You're gonna make me blush. I never know when you're being serious. When you kiss the criminal, <laughs> kiss the killer. Kiss the girl. <laughs> see me, me now. Sha -la -la -la. And now I really want to see a version of that where it's like metal and like kiss everything's, the dark, girl. everything's dark and it's just like all scenes with yeah. them. <laughs> Uncle Ray is always serious. Uh -huh. So how was it, Miles? How did it feel to be a defense attorney to save people? A defense attorney. But that really took me back. It was just like being next to your old man again. Haha, <laughs> it's been a while since I felt this good. It was, well, it's somewhat difficult to say it was a good thing. Come on, Miles. Are you sure you don't want to be a defense attorney? What? You know, pick up where your father left off. Don't you want to save people like he did? What are you talking about, pal? Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecutor! But is it really that unusual for a prosecutor to become a defense attorney these days? 
ton of different training. Unusual isn't the problem I mean, here. I mean, Godot was a defense attorney and he became a prosecutor. I guess that's true. <laughs> hey, uh, don't be upset. It's normal. You know, normal. It's not. Normal, pal! <laughs> you, you don't make for a powerful defense team. Mr. Shields, I am a prosecutor. And Uncle Ray is a defense attorney. That's why... I'm being serious about this. Well, that's just my opinion. Feel free to drop by anytime if you have a change of heart. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you at the Space Colony Arc. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Follow in my father's footsteps. Yeah. Me become a defense attorney. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my dad. What was that his dad? Yep. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Should I become a defense attorney? Wait, wait, I have to see this! Like my father? He looks nothing like him. <laughs> he looks like an old detective from those <laughs> movies. The end. The end. Yeah, that was a really long case, but I really like that case. Da, da, Brand new da, episode da, has been da, added. Da. The Inherited Turnabout. It's because Regina inherited the circus. We're going to the circus. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this case. This case. You said this is a case that like everyone's kind of like. This kinda, like... is a case. This is, this is probably the most famous case from the game. Oh. It's many people's... I'd say, I'd actually venture to say most people like this case the most out of all the cases in the game. How are you on it? On popular opinion, this is my least favorite case. Well, here's the thing. This case has some really, really, really good moments, but it has some big problems too. Like, you thought the last case was long. <laughs> this case might be the longest case in the game. Okay. Right up there for the final case. It's so long and it doesn't need to be that long. Okay. Like, there's a lot of fluff to it. Well, I mean, it could be like, <laughs> there's Zelda. Yes! <laughs> I'm just glad I met Zelda finally. Anyhow, we are out of time for today. Look forward Ooh, to that next time. time. I have a feeling, Marty, you're going to love that case. Are there a lot of females? I won't say yes or no, but I'll just say you're going to like the it's theme. A, it's an all-female flight crew. Back to Crane Village. It's, it's back to Crane Village, everybody. Okay, Because well. Kay's secretly Maya's uh, long-lost cousin. I don't know. Anyhow... Please tune in next time. It's going to be awesome. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.